Hello, this is Rafi from Plugin India and welcome to the fourth episode of Ask Your EV Guru. Today we are going to be talking about charging your electric vehicles in modern apartment buildings. So for those of you with short attention spans, today we are going to be talking about the location of your parking. If you stay on the say ninth floor of your building, the meter room is still on the ground floor and in most cases you can acquire a line from there. Different methods of charging, uh, any regular electrician can install a simple 15 ampere socket for you. And in this video, we are also going to suggest how to go about convincing an unwilling society to allow you to charge your EV by installation of some EV SE or maybe just an ordinary 15 ampere socket. We'll be going a little bit in depth about the basic power requirements for charging your EV, four wheelers, two wheelers. And we've also spoken a bit about the government's future plans for allowing EV users to charge in housing societies and about the electric supply of it. We have got many comments from you guys and a lot of you ask us how do you charge an electric car when you live in an apartment building? Well, let's make this episode about that. Let's talk about how to charge electric vehicles when you live in an apartment building. So let me clarify one point right away. There are no special permissions needed to set up an EV charging station at home or offices or commercial places. The Ministry of Power, Government of India has released a clarification on charging infrastructure for EVs with reference to the Electricity Act of 2003. The link to the description is given below. Please feel free to read it. Now coming to the question in hand, living in an apartment building and setting up a home charging unit can be a headache for EV owners, but it's not something that can't be solved. The main issue for most would be to install an electric socket that is near their parking slot. This should not be a problem as most apartments in India have a small little room which houses electric meters for each apartment. The idea is to connect the socket near the parking lot to the meter room. However, there are other questions that arise which complicate matters. How far is your parking lot from the meter room? What if the meter room is in a level below or above your parking lot? How big a problem would that be? What if you have an uncovered parking lot? What if there is no allocated parking? Will the societies or apartment management object? Will you have to take permission? Do you park on the road? Most EV owners manage to get a socket installed at their parking lot with no hassles. But as you can see, there are lots of variables involved and it is not straightforward all the time. However, there is some fundamental groundwork electric vehicle owners need to do. If they want to set up a charging station in a multi-unit apartment, it's important to speak to the management or society of the apartment and inform them that you have an EV and would like to install a charging point. It is also a good point to make it clear to them that the socket will be connected to your meter. Also, it is important to inform the society that the EV charger installation, operations, maintenance and electricity bill will be paid by the EV owner so that there are no misunderstandings later on. Let's look at some other cases. If your parking lot is far away from the meter room, you will need to draw a longer wire from the meter box to the parking lot. It is not ideal, but it is not impossible. And it is a one time task anyway. If your apartment has open or random parking, you may request an allocated parking, preferably near the meter room for easy wiring and installation of socket. If you park on the road, and your apartment complex has run out of parking space, this is a tough scenario. Can you arrange for power at your workspace and manage? Is your society head objecting to you charging your EV even though you insist that power will be drawn from your meter? It happens. You will find unreasonable people in this world. In such cases, maybe you could attend the society meetings and try to explain your situation or canvas other residents to see if anybody else plans on buying an EV and get some more people on your side that would get you a little more leverage. Let's talk about electric vehicle supply equipment or charging stations at home or workplace. We have mentioned that sockets are good enough for most cases, but if you are an EV owner and prefer to take additional precautions by installing an EV SE, which will charge an EV in a safe manner, then the rules are still the same. You will need to provide input power from your meter to the parking lot and mount the EVAC on the wall or pillar. What about power requirements? Do understand that the power socket in a single phase can deliver power up to 3 kilowatts in, Indian, in most Indian homes. All electric cars and e-scooters available in India for now charge at 3 kilowatts or below. 
so there is nothing special to be done in terms of input power at home or workplace charging having said that there will be cars in the coming years that will have larger batteries with energy densities of greater than 20 kilowatt hours and some examples are nissan leaf hyundai kona or tesla model 3 in these cars charging at less than 3 kilowatt won't cut it as it might take more than overnight to fully charge the batteries so for an electric car with a large battery pack an ev owner would prefer to ac charge his or her electric car at a faster rate than say 7 kilowatts or higher this would mean getting a three-phase connection which would mean more installation costs and approval processes from your society but by then there would be more ev owners so you can expect some more support we also expect laws to be passed soon which will ensure no society denies you the option to charge your ev installing a home charge point can be a straightforward process for most ev owners but in some cases there is some extra running around and talking to be done but nothing is impossible and getting electricity to your AV should not be so problematic. As they say, where there is a will, there is a way to enable EV charging. Remember, electricity is all around you. You just need to tap into it. This video is made possible by Mahindra Electric Mobility. Mahindra Electric Mobility is the pioneer of electric vehicle technology in India. Their mission is to bring tomorrow's movement today. To find out more, please visit www.mahindraelectric.com.